basically. Oh, uh, uh, we live right now. Jay got a charger, my shit on Do you have a C type? Nah, no, I got an iPhone. It's oh, probably a, I'm I'm right a there. designer lifestyle. Uh, <laughs> 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 Damn, design the charger. Y'all, y'all got Ice camera action. This right the right now. Yeah. We used to FaceTime. It looked yeah. like it's my charger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You tell me. <laughs> Damn, the C type uh, though. The cord is C type. They got another. Uh, anybody got an Apple charger cord? Yeah, I got one. Uh, I'm gonna real quick. Bob will show up, bro. I'm gonna check mine too. We got it live. Alright, I'm checking. Actually, she wanted me to check. Oh, God. You know, we got something here too. Alright. You good, Yasharia? Am I good or no? Yeah, both good. Yeah, they're right. good too, yeah. I got one, Yashari, you all good, bro. It's like the water. Can you open up there? Yeah, you open up. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to. Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, Basham, Rakh, Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. And, um, you know, we're going to uh, get into a lesson. You know about these uh sellouts all right you know you had uh jimmy butler all right you know he, he's that new you know emo kid on the scene um you got a, a usher looking like fucking uh that magician with the mask on that used to be on the wb all right and uh fucking uh who else looking like a bug out recently Shit. 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 All, all, all the rappers that got their usher raymond uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. i'm gonna say all these rappers that got their fingernails painted Oh, oh, Khan, Lil Yachty, uh, okay. Israel Adesanya just got his ass oh, knocked the fuck God, out. Bro. Pause. <laughs> and that damn demon, uh, what the hell his name is, Tyler Creative. He did oh, that shit too. Oh, yeah, that yeah, that biggest yeah. weirdo and homo ever, man. Jaden hey, Smith. I was about to say Jaden Smith. And yeah, then all these guys, bro, you know? I got the fucking food. Bad Bunny. Oh, yeah, right, that would be highest yeah, level. Yeah, that's yeah, the uh, that's pretty much um, the humiliation ritual that's right. they got going yeah, on, man. That's right. The, 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 the get get some goddamn money and stay relevant, man. Uh, they got to constantly do this bugged out shit, man. That's what Scripture says, uh, is Israel's servant? He's is he a homeborn yeah. slave? Mm -hmm. Why is he spoiled, man? These niggas are homegrown. These are those, um, what is, uh, kids might get this scripture. We're talking about those figs that was, um, so naughty. Yeah, that couldn't be eaten, man. Mm -hmm. You know, um, <clears throat> you those grapes of wrath, man, that are uncultured, uncultivated, and you just growing any kind of way. The Lord's about to, un the, the Lord's about to uproot the nigger tree, man. So oh. the nigger tree has grown and sprouted and took over the whole goddamn planet. And the Lord's about to fucking uproot it. That's right. Yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, I got saw. Yeah, he set <laughs> you niggas up to do this shit to influence you other niggas to do the bullshit. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I was for, man. And it, 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 keep them laughing at you niggas, man. That's you know, right. Exactly. But you go ahead, bro. Uh, this uh Jeremiah twenty four. I'm gonna start at one. Anything to go against your power. The Esau going to make you niggas do it, man. That's right. You gladly do it, too. Man. That's right. That's why the Lord going to destroy y'all together, man. That's, That's right. right, bro. It says, Jeremiah 24 and 1. Yahweh showed me, and behold, two baskets of figs were set before the temple of Yahweh. After that, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away captive uh, Jeconia, the son of... Uh, Je uh, Je uh, I can never say this. Jehokam, king of Judah... And the uh, princes of Judah with the carpenters and smiths from Jerusalem and have brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, even like the figs that are first ripe. And the other basket had very naughty figs, which could not be eaten. And they were so bad. Right. And that represents uh, two, th two thirds, man. Scriptures call you um, scorpions. Yep. Calls you uh, thorns. Um, which says I'm a brother to dragons, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you know, things that if you pick up, they'll prick you, you know, you, you can't deal with a nigga because a nigga is the prototype of Esau. That's right. Yeah. 
He's just, you know how fucking Dr. Evil had Mini Me? <laughs> Mini Me represents <laughs> niggas. Man. That's their daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, this is right here. Uh-huh. Teddy and John 844. Mm-hmm. I grabbed it real quick. Yeah, yeah the, they, 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 shit. <sighs> they, 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 they just saw uh, a cooler version of Esau. We did less on that while. <laughs> They just make n- nigger drink look cool. That's it. Yeah. It's salty, a salty Edomite. Yeah. It's word for a fool to uh, do mm-hmm. mischief. Yeah. Uh, grab that shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is um, John 844. This is how Shy talked to him, goddamn wicked scribes and Pharisees, man. So it says um, John 844. Oh, Dwight. John 8, 24, it says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and a bold not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. He speaketh a lie, speaketh of his own, for he's a liar and the father of it. So the two-thirds are just spiritual kings. That's all they are, man. Yeah. they just like their dad Esau, man. It, it says, there's no truth in him. Two thirds, you, you, you can't get right to lot right along with your daddy, so you know, mm-hmm. and you wicked as all. Hey, hey, matter of fact, scripture says the deeds are past, the deeds are the wicked, man. Yeah, all right, that's why niggas just through, man. Yeah. Y'all gonna be destroyed right along with your daddy, Esau. That's, that's what right. the Lord got for you, niggas, man. Hey, that's right, because, right. Uh, through these niggas, <laughs> see, Esau lives vicariously through, nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? The things that that he wants to. To, to say to the world, he gets Jake to say it. Right. You know? Because Jake got a great influence. Yeah. That's, that, yeah. that's why he uses Jake to do yeah. this shit, man. That's why you got movies like, um, what was that? Um, Tales from the Hood. You got the nigga Crazy oh, K. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> she compared him to Kane in that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you had uh, New Jack City. She said, Am I my brother's keeper? Oh, you oh. had that other movie that nigga. Men in Society. Yeah. Dude named that was, was Kane. 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 Yeah, Kane. showing you that he saw he projects himself onto Jacob, man. Yeah. See, he's able to do these things through Jacob, man. Through through two thirds, man. That's right. That's why you niggas gotta go, man. You're mediums for Esau Edom, man. That's oh, it. I got something for you right there. Did they do that re- recently too with one of those uh, biblical uh, shows or movies? They uh, they got the um. They made uh. uh, uh he saw like a Jake here, you know, Jake was playing uh, Edomite, if I'm not mistaken. It was one of those movies, yeah. It was, and God. You talking about the new movie oh, shit that's coming out, the Jay-Z movie? That's the movie talking about? Uh, no, 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 not coming out. Not that one. It was something else, man, where they basically made uh, Esau uh, Jake, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, Jake was playing the Edomite. Yeah, well you, well, you know what? I call them Black Edomite. They are Esau right now, man. You know, two-thirds. Um, now, uh, I, you said that, it's... Uh, Isaiah 31 and 3, it says, Now the Egyptians are men and not the most high, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that hopeth and shall, shall fall, and he that hope is hoping shall fall down, and they shall all fall together. So, Lord, uh-huh. for you niggas, help forward in the agenda of Esau, you know, Lord going to destroy y'all together, man. That's right. Yeah. yeah. He's finna uh he's finna he's finna uproot all wickedness in the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Right? He's finna uproot it, man. You know, because now's the time for, you know, the sister was says the cry of Sodom is gone up. And now it's time for that wickedness to reach its height, man. Mm-hmm. And you niggas, you you niggas, you're not Esau ain't stopping and you niggas ain't stopping, bro. Mm-hmm. These niggas are, are hitting the gas on wickedness, man. Huh? That's right. You know? They surpass the deeds of the wicked. Yeah. They going hard in they lot, man. Yeah, I you mean, know? you know, they they not the elect anyway since the foundation of the earth, man. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. Lord willing, we are those guys. So you know, to help the Lord create this this earth and everything since the foundation of the earth, man. Those only ones gonna get delivered, man. Uh, if somebody get that second edge, we're gonna talk about that uh, the grain and evil seed. So, these niggas, the two thirds, they these two thirds doing the wicked. They never the Lord's to begin with, man. Not all is Israel of Israel. I have one right quick. This is uh, Jeremiah five and twenty six. This is for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that said it snares. They set a trap. They catch men. You know, and that's all these wicked uh, individuals pushing that, you know, wickedness, you know, uh, to the people. They're, spiritually, they're trapping our people 
and leading them towards the way of destruction. That's right. I got that script that uh, you want to want it. Uh, this second edge is 4 and 30. For the grain of evil seed had been sown in the heart of Adam from his beginning, and how much ungodliness had it brought up unto this time. Yeah. And how yeah, much more. shall huh? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it said, and how much shall it yet bring forth until the time of threshing come? To the time of threshing, to the time sending the, the Lord sent the angels to shut all this shit down. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's like uh, you know, um, during the flood, man. You know, shit got wicked and the Lord killed everybody, man. Yeah, yeah. The Lord washed washed this earth, man. Yeah. Except for eight. So he said, I shall beautify the place of my feet. That's the earth, man. Mm -hmm. Heaven is my throne. The earth is my footstool. He's finna, the scripture says he shall thoroughly purge this floor, man. So all wickedness is going to get put out, man. Hey, uh, yeah. It has to be purged. What is more to that? Yeah. Uh, it says, ponder now by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed have brought forth. Mm -hmm. And when the ears shall be cut down, which are without number, how great a floor shall they fill. Right, that's the parable of the wheat and the tares right there. Yeah. You know, it says, uh, gather the wheat into my barn, mm -hmm. but then bundle up the tears and then burn them, man. Yeah. Like the elder was going into, you niggas got spiritual tears, bro. Yeah. You getting bagged up with all the rest of the shit the Lord's about to dispose of. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, I had this, this second Ezra is 437 by measure have you measured the times and by number have you numbered the times and he do not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled so Lord just allowing you to do all your wickedness to fulfill your said measure <coughs> he's going to come and bring that great destruction okay. and he that now let it will let yeah. Yeah. until he take it out the way See, wickedness has its time, and like the like the elder Yaki said, yeah. the righteousness has its eternity. Eternity, yep. eternity. forever. Hey, and the, and the Lord is gonna be justified when He comes, man, because He, uh, you know, He's letting this truth come out, not you know, first and foremost by us, the prophets, but also by all these uh, uh, famous individuals. You had what Kendrick Lamar make a whole song about Israelites. Kanye yeah. West as well. You know, so it, Kanye West. Yeah, so hey, these, right. these niggas have no excuse. You know, that's right. That's the, the Lord's gonna consider them fugitives. <laughs> yep. The scripture says, "Uh, of the falsehood have we hid ourselves?" Mm -hmm. you know, so they're fugitives. You know. Uh, I can get that scripture too, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then shit, you ain't gonna hide behind Esau because once Esau done using you, you niggas, he gonna stab you back like he always. Yep. Does best any damn way, man. Mm -hmm. and, and really, it's the Lord that's fucking y'all over. Esau don't do nothing. The Lord is doing all of this. Yep. You, the Lord, got is sending Esau to send you off. Yeah, he's so gonna he can come get you. So well, well, you know what this crook say: deceive and deceive are here. That's right. Yeah, man. you niggas. Um, you wasn't right in the past, so the Lord yeah. getting all niggas back. Man. That's right. Hey, well, I'll be everybody coming in back in their life. I'll leave about that nigga from Toy Story. He said, "It's a snake in my boots." Well, the Lord put the snake in your boots, man. Uh, <laughs> because, because what the snake does is bites you and it kills you, man. Hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, some some snakes bite you immediately. I mean, kill you immediately. Some snakes pro. It's a it's a slow death, man. Suffering. And then being a nigger is a slow death, man. Not having the spirit is a slow death, bro. Yeah, yeah. And these yeah. niggas like to be this way, man. That's it. So yeah. they ain't got no excuse, man. We we telling you. Yeah, we, we we warning you, telling you that that culture Esau gave you ain't, ain't really your culture and all that. You want to be that way, so yeah, you, you just gonna die, man. Who will be a charmer? Yeah, who will be a serpent? Somebody grab that. Yeah, yeah. But well, I had that. This for these sellouts, so because Saint actually came in how shot too, and, ch and showed them the kingdoms and stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Matthew's four and uh, let's see uh. Five, it says, then the devil takes them up. So, because uh, Yahweh Shah was fasting 40 days, was 40 days, 40 nights, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it says, and the devil taking them up unto the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and he said unto him, that thou be the son of God. Oh, uh, no, I want to get to the point. No, it's verse 8. Matthew 4 and 8. Again, the, again, the devil taking them up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world mm. and the glory of them. So, 
these niggas selling out, being moles and all shit to get the glory for a goddamn moment, man. That's right. You know, so it says. Um, what do you did for like Jimmy Butler, what you gonna be a the new poster boy for NBA Two K? <laughs> right. Uh, he still got eight now, bro. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> so it says so uh, average ten points to see how they treat you, nigga. Con. So it says, and he said unto him, "All these things will I give unto thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me." And that's what these niggas doing. They mm-hmm. fucking worship and bow down, say. And guess what? They not even their own fucking man. That's they right. got to do what this damn devil tell them. They got dressed the way this devil tell them to dress. That's they right. got, Marry whoever the, yeah. this devil tell him to marry. That's they got to have the hairstyle who this devil, this, who this devil tell him to have. Yeah. You know they don't. Ain't not even their own fucking man. They got right. whoever this damn devil say, either bow down or lay down, man. They like an actor that's cast in a role. Yeah. Once yeah. you once you get involved with Esau, he give you your part to play. Whatever he tell you to do, you got to do that. If not, then they take you off the show. Yeah. Right. Yep. Take your life or nah. get you know, you fade away all that. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, so uh, this is what Yahweh Shah said. It says, um let me see, uh verse 10, verse 10 then say Yahweh Shah to him, get thee his Satan, for it's written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only thou shalt sh- shall serve. So that's the insult. He don't want nobody serving the the, the, the true creator. He didn't want everybody to bow down and worship his punk ass, man. Yeah. Yeah. And and all these jakes, like the Elder Karab said earlier, all these jakes know what they're doing. When you start dealing with Esau on that level and he puts you in that level of prominence, he has to pull you to the side and tell you that you're an Israelite so that you don't go telling other niggas this shit. Not shit, but he got to pull you to the side and tell you what you can and can't say. And yeah. then Esau is a demon to where he'll tell you that to mock you. After you sell out. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. He did that uh, Martin Luther King. But, you know, it's contrary to mess with him. That's why they put him to death. Yeah. Uh, he started opening his mouth, man. He, he said that he realized he uh, sent his people into a burning building, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a quote. Oh, sorry. Look at this. This is uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Mm-hmm. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Mm. And take up his cross and follow me. And we mentioned that uh, in class, man. Every single person that follows Yahweh Shai has their tailor-made cross that they have to bear. Uh, All right? And those afflictions aren't going to be easy for you, man. But if you're a part of the elect, it's doable. You will get that victory. Mm -hmm. Because we went into that into class, how uh, the elect are going to overcome. Right. All right? It's Um, just to overcome the wicked one. And two-thirds don't want to deal with that type of affliction. That's why they hate the Lord, don't want to serve him. Mm-hmm. Right. For, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. <clears throat> All right, and look, it, like these guys, right, these sell-offs, they're trying to save their lives on this side. You know, they, they want to get the, you know, the, the mansion, all right, all the women, hey. you know, the, the boats, whatever, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, we, I think we brought that scripture out in the last lesson. Mm. We briefly touched on that nigga with Jimmy Butler and shit, man. Mm. Mm. All right. You go ahead, brother. Yep, so yeah, yeah, he's trying to save his life. So at the end of the day, he's going to lose it. And right now, he's already losing, man. This yeah. guy it, it put on fucking eyeliner, got, got black uh, uh, nail polish on. His, hair, his fucking hair is uh, straightened out. I know you, you always make fun of uh, that shit you wanted. Tonight, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> What's that video you, you no, sent no. me? Back, back. You remember when you, you sent me the video of this nigga, bro? He looked like that. Yeah. You got the current hairstyle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> through, man. Right. So they're, they're already through, man. Yeah, right. They're already fucking through, but hey, when this shit really hits the fan, hey, they're going to get no protection. They're going to die terribly. That's it, man. Terribly. Mm-hmm. All right, um, we got a little more. It says, uh... Because they will never part of the elect to begin with, man. That's right. So if you ain't part of the elect, the Lord going to give you over to whatever, man. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, brother. It says, for whosoever shall... It's like, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life, his life, so like, for whosoever will lose his life, for my sake, shall find it. All right? And we've lost our life in this world, all right? Hey, you had a lot of brothers that had talent, man. All right? Say, some brothers could have been actors. Some of, some were professional athletes. All right? They musicians. Other brothers, they could have had multi, uh, 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 you know, 
multiple businesses mm-hmm. that could have made them a lot of money. That's right. All right, so on and so forth. Whatever it was, they they, they could have actually had something in this world, but they just dropped it. They said, fuck it, you know? <laughs> For something that's way better, man. Yeah. You know, we, 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 we've uh, we've given up this world for something that's way better, man. You know, because, hey, you can't take nothing. You can't take this shit with you, man. You can't take this shit with you. So it says, uh, the only thing we take with us is uh, our righteousness, if the Lord deems us righteous. That's right. Uh-huh. Um, it says here, for what is a man profited if he... Shall, for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Sure. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And, and look what these guys have done, bro, to themselves. Right. All right, just to get a little fame, That's you right. know, get, get a little bit of money. It's disgusting. Yeah. It's literally fucking disgusting, bro. Just look at Dwayne Wade. He oh, literally man. sacrificed oh, his son. Man. Both them niggas play for the heat, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, yeah, oh, bro. <laughs> Damn, uh, that's, uh, that's spiritual though. That's yeah. Yeah. They they for for, for they nothing, love man. They love Damn. It? And they're gonna be in some heat when the Lord destroyed their ass. That's it. Yeah. You know, it says the love of money is the root of all evil, while some covered after uh they have air from the face faith and pierce themselves through with many sorrows. Yeah, man, you and, got, that's oh, why so they gotta uh yeah. that's why they do so many drugs, man. Mm-hmm. They, they, the shit that they, they did, man. Even uh, shit. Uh, Mike Tyson said it, man. If somebody's interview with somebody, he was like, man, you know why you need all these people in this room and you can't be alone? He said, we can't be alone with ourselves. We can't be alone with the things that we've done, you know. And that's why our scripture says, "Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him and not fallen from his uh, hope in, in the Lord." <coughs> we um, me and Murph met this dude. Pause. Uh, me and her met this dude. He uh, he's like a big time music producer. He be fucking with Kanye West and shit. And I remember one time we went to the club, and you know we met this guy actually at the jerk spot. We went to a jerk spot. Pause. Pause. We went to a Jamaican restaurant and met this dude, and um, didn't even know who he was. Like Merv knew who he was, but I didn't even know who he was. We just chopping up with this guy on some father. Right. And this dude is like got seven Grammys and all that shit. We end up going to the club and seeing this nigga in the club like six or seven months later. And, you know, like the brother Yuana was going into, the elder brother Yuana, how he said these people can't be alone. So we at the club with this dude. He invited us to come deal with him in the, at the table and shit. So we go and deal with him and chop it up with this guy. And the night, like, you know, the club closed, we finna leave and shit. And the bitches that he was with end up disappearing. Like some shit happened and they just disappeared. And he was going to go to the crib by himself. And this nigga fucking begged us to go to the house with him, man. So that he wouldn't be by himself, like the brother said. Yeah. And we ended up going to the crib with him and, and, and dealing with him, chopping it up for us. We was chopping it up with him and shit, you know. And then, um, you know, we ended up leaving. But these these people can't be by themselves, man. Yeah. You know, they got, they, they got a... Uh, Demons. They they got demons on them. They done did wicked shit, man. Yeah, you know another thing too. They can't get no sleep either. I know the scriptures oh, talk about yeah, it in the apocrypha, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't oh, even yeah. sleep. Oh yeah. All the wickedness they into and been doing. That's why the scripture says, "Uh, uh, uh I will shot, give it his beloved sleep." All right, it says, "In me you will have the peace. In the world you have tribulation, man." Yeah. See, the man of the Lord, man. Oh, it says, "Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time." Yep. Hey, kill the head and the body will die. If your head is out of there, you have no direction. You have no self-control. That's why the scriptures say, give me any of the plague of the heart, which means the mind. Yeah, yeah. Because they, like how you said, they, I think you said something on the lines, like, it, these guys, basically, they, they get tortured, man, you know, if they're not in the truth, you know, pretty mm-hmm. much. Yeah, because they're, in, they're insane. Yeah. What, what the scripture says when people have a, uh, Demons on it says unclean spirits. Mm. Yeah. So if you have unclean spirits, that means what? You're you're insane, which the word sane goes into the word sanitary. So that means you're not sanitary, meaning your mind is not clean. You know, that's why is anybody who hasn't been watched by this word is insane. Everybody. Yep. Wow. Anybody yeah. on earth that yeah. doesn't have that the scripture says where so the young man cleanse his way. By taking heed there unto the word. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. 
that you know the Bible says what well, the washing of water uh, by yeah, the word. Ephesians five, yeah. This is the only way you can get your mind cleansed. Uh, I'm gonna just finish this off with Matthew sixteen and twenty seven. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his work. And look, these guys, bro, they have terrible sacrifices, man. All right, they, they've been literally yes, putting bullshit yes, to the altar. All right, Amen. and the Lord is going to judge them for that. You know, that's why we're hoping and praying that the Lord accepts this, you know, sacrifice that we're presenting to him. All right, these spiritual sacrifices. All right, us going to the line, us doing, you know, these lessons, uh, you know, uh, us being brotherly to one another. All right, changing our ways, so on and so forth. We're hoping the Lord accepts that. Because we don't want, and I think uh, the elder, or was it you, uh, uh, Rakai? Didn't you bring it out that uh, 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 we don't want to be condemned with this world? Was that oh, that yeah. yeah. You know, we're you. getting judged now, all right? So we don't get judged with, with the world, man. You yeah. know, because that's coming, man. Yeah. They, they, what was that? They, they used that term, judgment day. Yeah. It, it's, it's fast approaching. Yeah, the Lord put okay. us through the fire now, man. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. getting, getting rid of our impurities and stuff now, man. You know, so you're going to get purified one way or another. Right. You niggas want to wait till later mm -hmm. when Jacob Trump comes. Okay, that's your purification. Hey, with that, with, yeah, we... With, with, um, well, that reminds me of the movie uh, Braveheart before William Wallace got... Uh, before they chopped William Wallace up, he said, are you, re are you prepared for your purification? Mm -hmm. Right? Because he got purified through pain. But I got one real quick just to back up the brother. Because it's, it's, uh, it's another scripture that says... Um, it says... Um, the sacrifice, it's talking about the sacrifice of the, of the wicked, I mean, or something like that. But it says, um, how much more will he bring it with the wicked mind? Can you look that one up? It says, uh, how much more if he bring it with the wicked mind? Talk about the sacrifice. But, uh, yeah, I got it right here. You got it right here? Yeah, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 27. The sacrifice of the wicked is abomination. <laughs> yeah. How much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind? Yeah, how much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind, man? So like the brother was going into, man, your sacrifice, matter of fact, let me read this one. This is Sirach 34 and 18. He that sacrificed a, a thing wrongfully gotten, his offering is ridiculous. Mm. Mm. And mm. the gift of the of unjust men are not accepted. Mm. That's good. Rejected. So just to back the brother up about that sacrifice. And the scripture says what? We give him the sacrifice of our lips, man. Mm -hmm. The sacrifice is our now is the contrite spirit, man. Yeah. I got one for the, the sellouts who want to uh, receive their consolation now. This uh Sirach 41 8 it says, Woe be unto you, ungodly men, mm -hmm. which have forsaken the law of the most high. For if ye increase, it shall be for your destruction. Oh, Damn. 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 Nope. Right. And, and they're gonna have uh, terrible falls, man. Oh, yeah. You know. Hey, the movie Gremlins. All those Gremlins got created just to get destroyed in the end, right? Yeah. Because look, what? Because the way they did it and shit, they I think they lured them all into the fucking movie theater and blew blew the shit up, set them on fire, man. They don't fucking. You know what I'm saying? Three fucking shit. Hey, they show you. Hey, they show you, Lord. I'm gonna look for something else. I look for something else. The Lord had me zoom in that exact scripture. Let's show you, Lord, when we bring that one out, man. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. So, hey, uh, uh, these are natural brute beasts. Yeah. Made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of things that they understand not, man. Yeah. These niggas was made to be slaughtered, man. Yeah. Which says, uh, fat things. Somebody type in fat things on the leaves. Because the Lord has a sacrifice. It says, I have a sacrifice in Bosworth. Somebody get that one too, man. Yeah, two thirds third? are going to be a part of this sacrifice, man. Yeah. All right, and, and that word Basra, it means sheepfold, man. And, and you got to remember, the Lord, you know, He requires, you know, something to shed His blood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wages of, uh, it says, uh, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. You know. Which shows that fucking Cain's dumbass, man. You know. Stupid. Like you know. Cornball. Yeah, and the scripture talk about how these niggas have gone in the way of Cain, man. Because Cain wanted to do what the fuck he wanted to do, man. Right, right. And that's Jake right now, man. Yeah. They want to just do whatever the fuck they want to do. You know, yeah, and they, they don't want to deal with any repercussions. And it's funny, man, when you see Jake getting locked up, 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Getting fucking judged and all that shit. You see all the tears and shit. Good. You know, because they, 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 they thought they were an Edomite. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I ain't going to get caught. Right, 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 no, yeah. man. Hey, you, you got caught. No, hey, you, you did the crime. Now do the fucking time. Oh, like that one cornball ass bitch in Philly. Yeah. All right, that, that she was like TikTok famous or some shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're doing all the looting. <laughs> She's all in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that man. That fat black bitch. That's all right. Fucking, fucking emphasize yes. that shit. Definitely yes. black. All right. Shirley. Bitch yeah, name was Bean or something. <laughs> Big Shirley. I think her name was Bean or something. <laughs> so so was Bean. Damn. Some coffee. You know, and, but she can point being though, she gets right. caught. And in her mugshot, all you see is these fucking crocodile tears. Good. <laughs> hey, you reap what you sow. Or Jake could be catching hell for their wickedness, then wonder why. Got the same spirit as Esau, man. I'm yeah. like, man, you know you going off doing shit. Man. Yeah, well, why, I was about why, to say that oh. uh, Salak is going to do it. Well, it says, why cries thou for that affliction? Uh, you know the description I'm talking about? It says, why cries thou for that affliction? Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Why are you crying for your affliction, man? You know, it's the same thing with uh, Cain, man. He said, what, if you do what's good? Yeah, you'll be accepted, man. Uh, the Lord's gonna fucking this it. Uh, uh, what it says? Does men grab? Uh, does men pick uh, grapes of thorns and figs of thistles? Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. You know? And it, it, it says uh, that which bear thorns is nigh unto cursing, man. And you niggas bear thorns, man. Here it is. You trying to reach for fruits, man, and you get a handful of damn thorns, man. What is this that, shit? That's what the Lord looks at you <laughs> niggas as, but you got those scriptures? Yeah, I got it. Um, it's Isaiah 25 and 6. Yeah. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things. Mm. Ooh. A feast of wines on the leaves of fat things full of marrow. Of wines on the leaves, on the leaves well refined. God damn. That's 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 that slaughter. Mm. That's that's Man, you, you niggas is going on the altar, man. Because, hey, just like uh, Apostle Todd says, America is that great altar. Man. That's right. You know, you yeah, got, get that Isaiah 19, bro. 19, I think 19. You got it, man. Baba Kusha. For edification purposes. Um, Bring it out. Bring it out. It's, uh, Read Isaiah 19 and 19. It says, In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord Oof. in the midst of the land of Egypt, yeah. and a pillar at the border thereof, so Yahweh. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and each one of these camps is an altar, man. You know, each one of these camps is an altar, man. He said, I've uh, set up altars in Egypt, man. All right? Mm -hmm. What is a priest's job? A priest brings the sacrifice. Uh, or, well, people bring the sacrifice. The pre priest takes the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And then he burns it. And then after that, it's over. Yeah. And this is, uh, <laughs> this is spiritually uh, Egypt and Sodom, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, so, yeah, man, this is that great altar, man. And the Lord is going to uh, destroy this place, man. He got the... Uh, no, keep going. Keep going. No, I'm going to say, uh, you got the missiles coming on, on top of uh, the Lord's power, you know, to de put, uh, destroy this place and turn it to a lake of fire, you know? And the scriptures say what, man? You can't uh, appear before the Lord empty-handed, empty. Empty right. basically? That's right. Mm -hmm. All right? You have to bring something, man. Yeah. And a lot of... Look, man, you guys ain't... You're not bringing nothing but bullshit, bro. That's why you're gonna be destroyed. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's Straight that's up it. bullshit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking it's what? It. I think you brought it. Uh, you said what? Uh, Moism? Yeah. Feminism? That's right. Bro. All right. Fucking murder, adultery, idolatry. Emoism, like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, scripture talk about. Uh, it says uh, seven days. Momo. Seven days do they mourn for the dead before a fool is entire yeah. life. Yeah. Your whole life is a parody. Your whole life is a joke, man. The Lord looks down at you and he's not pleased with you and he wants to kill your ass, man. And he is. You know? Only people he's paying attention to are those that resemble him. That are walking the walk that he will have them walk, man. And that's being repentant. Repentant about the things that you did, man. And I, I you know, I, I'm going to say it, man, because, you know, I've heard brothers say it, man. Your sins is a pride killer, man. If your sins is ever before you did, there's no fucking way you can be proud, man. If you if you're if you're constantly dwelling, and I'm not saying the scripture says don't let your sins weigh you down, right? Mm -hmm. So it's definitely a balance. But don't forget the fucking shit you did, bro. I think King yeah. David said that my, my sins are ever before me. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. yeah. paraphrasing it. Yeah. Yeah. Like how the brother said, man, they, they, that, that's a pride killer. You should not, you know, s s start getting a uh, high minded, man. Yeah. All right, just because you know a couple scriptures. So what? And 
Yeah. Or and and it's, yeah, like, your and shit it, don't stink no more and shit. Yeah. yeah. And the scripture says, uh, if you're hot by shooting your shot, mark it the nickel, you move the stand. Yeah. Hey, I'll do you another one. If the Lord told one of your sins, you would not even want to show your face. Yeah, yeah. man. And everybody got a sin that they done did that if the Lord just sent an angel to just put you on blast, buddy, your ass would not even want to show your face on earth. Well, you, well, you know what? Guys like that, that's why the Lord get, I'm thinking of one now. With high mighty and shit. And shit <coughs> and where's he at now, man? In 7 Eleven eating the glitz. God. Uh, double, so, <laughs> mouthful, double, 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 fucking double. mouthful. Uh, like oh, oh, this, <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> Sirach. <laughs> this is Sirach no, 19 no homo. and 24. It says, Hey, call it again, bro. This is Sirach 19 and 24. Oh. This is, He that has small understanding oh. and feared Yahweh is better than one that has much wisdom mm -hmm. and transgresses the law of Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shek. You know, hey, that's that's what the Lord looks for, man. So somebody with, uh, what did he say in Psalms 51? This is a, a broken and contrite spirit uh, that will not despise. You know, the Most High cares more about the fear and faith you have in Him than all the wisdom you have. You know, that, that you're trying to get. Yeah, yeah this is a what did he say? Once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. It's not even. It's not even that. Because this, because that means everybody would get it in their lifetime. Right. Nobody gets this opportunity but the eleven. That's it. You're not gonna get it unless you are of the eleven. You walk past you, a video or a camp or whatever the hell, you just got marked for destruction. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But since we have this opportunity and we can see, you gotta run with it, man. Well, you, uh, that was Paul, he used the analogy of uh running, man. Mm -hmm. Running the race, man. Shit, fuck that. Somebody give you a, a bag of a million dollars, you finna sit there and question it. They say, run, nigga, run, nigga, run. Run, nigga. Run until you don't hear the police sirens no more, nigga. You know? Like, that's good. Yeah, can I make a point, though, real quick? Because uh, you mentioned that how the elector, like, basically, you know, walking with the Lord. You said something under those lines. Yeah. Just like Enoch, it says yeah. that he walked with the Lord. That's right. All right, meaning that basically he he, he learned, bro, yeah. from Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. He was taught pretty much on what righteousness is, and that's what the. Uh, the elect is learning right now the ways of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, and they're they're putting off that old man now, yeah. you know, putting on that new man, really, you know, being a man of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. And eventually, you know? he got translated. Yep. So a... eventually, you start resembling the Lord. So you don't. Hey, we brought it out. Taz oh, is not here. But that, if the brother can get that that wisdom of Solomon, all right. So what? They don't get tainted. All right. Defiled. You know, the Lord, he, he's about to uh, uh, get that in Sirach 18, too. We brought this out in class. It's a lot. Yeah, forget about that. One is in our wisdom of Solomon. Fuck, give me a moment. You got somebody you're looking for? I got some. This is the book of Luke, chapter 6, and verse 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Yeah, and even, uh, you know, when you was a kid, we all heard, see, even when I was a shorty, I know like, most of us heard the scripture about the camel and the needle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, you hear about that when you were shorty. And then the whole time, you picturing an actual needle and a fucking camel and shit. Right. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, but that is it. impossible. Yeah. The camel cannot go through the eye of the needle, but... Really, it's just talking about humili humiliating yourself, man. Uh, <laughs> because the camel, the eye of the needle was really an underpass to, to, to enter into the city. Yeah. And the scriptures talk about what? That uh, fire on one side, yeah. water on water. the other. Yeah. But it's the path that leads what, to this what? great city, it says, where all good things dwell. Right. So if you, but in order to do that, you got to be willing to take that path, that treacherous ass path. You got men in front of you. You got men behind you. That leap of so faith. that means you got to be in order. Otherwise, yeah. you, you're going to die and might get a few other people killed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when you do get to the exit, you got to kneel down. You might have to drop a few bags. You may not be able to enter it with, with nothing. You might have to slide through that motherfucker butt naked, man. So then you got to be willing to do that. But you got guys, they get to that, they get there and they're like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to drop this bag. I don't want to drop this. I got great riches. 
I'm not finna get rid of them. Well, then stay your ass right here. Well, shit, yeah, well, that's why, uh, uh, the rich man came to Al Shai. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. like, uh, Al Shai told him to give up his, give up his riches, yeah. come follow me. Yeah. But he, he ran, ran away crying. <coughs> Yeah, I believe that's what the scripture says. Yeah, man, yeah. He didn't have many. You're right, nigga. I, I told disciples, the rich man hardly into the kingdom. Yeah. That, yeah. you know, and they don't, they, they not going to get that up. Man. And they're going to be salty as fuck because they're going to see that. Because you can't play Big Bang, Little Bang with your house, watching me out of shot. <laughs> you ain't playing no Big Bang, Little Bang with him, man. Yeah. No matter, I don't give a fuck how many riches you niggas you got. You ain't got the kind of riches he got. Right. He got everything. So, Whatever that you didn't want to give up to get, you going when you do see the reward that the men do get, you gonna be a hurt motherfucker. Man. Right, right. Yeah, you gonna be a broke hurt motherfucker because every compared to the one compared to the one forty four, you motherfuckers could be considered broke. That's right. You know, you ain't gonna be broke as an Israelite, but you gonna you ain't gonna be up there. You know, but whatever you want to. Yeah, get. I mean, shit. I mean, they they they, they don't get it, man. Some call find out the hard way, man. Yeah, but go ahead. Just talk about striving for undefiled rewards. Mm. Oh, yeah. uh, this is uh, wisdom of Solomon. That's what these sellouts and all that's doing right now, man. Yeah. Striving for undefiled reward. For defiled reward. Defiled, I mean, yeah, defiled reward. Uh, but go ahead, bro. Uh, yeah. This is uh, wisdom of Solomon 4 and 10. He mm -hmm. that which that is Enoch pleased the Most High and was beloved of him. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, what. Uh, we're hoping to be what the house of David, yeah. which David means beloved. Yeah. All right, so we're trying to be in that same you know stead, man, yeah. as these you know uh, uh, great, mighty, and holy men. All right, of old. All right, so he pleased the Most High and was beloved of Him, so that the living, so that so that living among sinners, he was translated. Yea, speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should after his understanding. Oh, so like it should alter his understanding or deceit beguile his soul. Yeah. And that's what the Lord is about to do. Can you get that, Sirach? How he's going to uh, um, separate the uh, yeah. the profane and the holy? Yeah. All right, see, so the Lord, he, he's about to uh, uh, make a separation, all right, in this earth. Yeah. You know, hey, the elect, they're going to get severed out, you know, from this system, man. All right? And they're going to fully attach unto Yahweh Hashem al -Shai. And they're gonna it, it, it leave Babylon the Great, leave Esau alone forever, man. You know. Yeah, you notice that was hurt by that too. Yeah. yeah but who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah, but, and look, man, Esau can get mad, upset, whatever. He can throw a fit, temper <clears throat> tantrum. Doesn't matter. Look, the elect has already been bought. Hey, look, you, you can keep the Jimmy Butlers, bro. That's right. You can keep the little Yachties, the yeah. fucking bad bunnies, man. Kanye. All right, the Kanye's, whoever the fuck you, you want, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not a part of the elect. You can keep them, bro. They're yours, man. You can play with them. You can do all kind of freaky shit. That you, you know what I'm saying with them that you like to do. But what with happens? Them. What happens when a uh, a man he gets the woman? He gets a woman he didn't really want. He wanted the other woman. You got to you got to turn with the girl that got away mm -hmm. or the one that got away. So the, so he has this bitch the whole time. He's fucking thinking about the other woman. Well, you know what can't yeah. get right. You know what? That's 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 how it goes. Though. So he starts beating that bitch, right? Stealing on her and shit, burning her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how it goes. What shit? You want what you can't have? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and you know Esau's covetous, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know yeah, this, this dude's very very covetous. So he's losing his goddamn marble. <laughs> like, like even if he's a fucking mother, <laughs> they they really want to deal with somebody that they can't have, man. It's yeah, easy to yeah. deal with another goddamn mo. Pause. You know. Yeah. <coughs> this shit's crazy, man. But uh, you got this around, Bob yeah. Can you get it? Yeah, I got you right here. She call it. This is Sirach eighteen and three. It says, "Whoso." Started one though. Started one. Started one. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Sirach eighteen and one. It says, "He that liveth forever had created all things in general." Yeah, which is uh, is Yahweh uh, Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says, the Lord only is righteous, and there is none but he. Mm -hmm. It says, who, who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. Mm -hmm. For he is the king Wait, of so all. Wait, so I can read that again? It says, verse 3, who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. 
all things obey his will, man. All right? You can't do anything against the truth for, for, but for the truth, man. That's right. All right? Hey, this the this the Lord's movie, man. That's why this is the scriptures, man. Yes, yeah, the Yes, yeah, two thirds are playing a role in the yep. script too, man. That's right. You just re Lord just re re rejected your ass. Man. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's, like it's like when you're a kid, man. You, you know, you, you got all your little action figures and stuff. Yep. All right, all right. Here's the bad guys. Yeah. You know, you got fucking Wolverine on the good <laughs> Spider Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wolverine yeah. was always good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You're you fucking said. putties, man. You fucking putties. Oh, wait, say it again. Them niggas is putties, man. Lord <laughs> said. Yeah, and they all look alike. You know what I'm saying? All the putties looked the same. Yeah. Oh, uniform like a motherfucker. Yeah. Man. Oh, shit. Or at least the Power Rangers stood out. They had, like, each one had a different color. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But them niggas was somehow, and they never, they never ran out of them niggas. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like well, shit, they gotta move their clone Tyrone. That's oh, really yeah, what yeah, that yeah. is, man. Oh, All these niggas, niggas look the same, man. They coming right. down the assembly line, man. That's yeah. the assembly line niggas, man. Yeah. Dress Damn. fucking uh. uh. A blunt in one hand, a fucking uh, a bottle of Hennessy in the fucking other. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head, I made you. Damn. That shit, wow, man. Yeah. 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 And that's what the Lord is doing now. And then he's ultimately just going to, you know, scoop us up, man, and just get us out of this goddamn place, man. Yeah. First, uh, shit's like it. First, get us out of these vile-ass bodies. Uh -huh. All right? Because yeah. they will be changing the twinkling of the eye. Yeah. Hey, this uh, uh, corruption can't inherit incorruption. Right. We've got to be changed, man. Yeah, bro. I remember years ago, man, I had a dream about it. This is far as the truth, man. I was a spirit. I was just clean. And I floated down towards, like, the little... Uh, patch of land. It was like an outhouse. You know what an outhouse is? We yeah, kind of, take kind of, a shit. Kind of, kind of. It's like a wooden box and it's got like yeah. a moon in the door. The moon. <laughs> so I floated it down. I'm like pure and shit. And I remember opening the outhouse door and it was like a body in it. And it was like all contorted and burned and shit. And I remember looking at it. I was like, damn, that was me. And I was like, shit. And I just looked how filthy it was, man. That's why scripture says the spirit and the flesh, man, they not gonna get along, bro. This shit is a prison. Mm -hmm. You don't get along with a prison. A prison is hard. It's cold. It's it's not with no way you want to fucking be at, man. Well, you know, no. scriptures say the, the spirit war against the flesh. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, what I'm Yep. You know, yeah. his flesh want to do things contrary to what's right, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got a little more. This is uh back in that wisdom of Psalm four and twelve now. For the bewitching <laughs> of naughtiness do obscure things that are honest. And the wandering of cacupetuses doeth undermine the simple mind. Yeah. He being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time. Right, now concupiscence, it means strong uh, desire, basically for fleshly shit, man. Mm -hmm. For things that you really just not, um, you don't need. Man, yeah. Yep. He being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time. For his soul pleased the Lord. Therefore, hasted he to take him away from <clears throat> among the wicked. And that's what the Lord all right, is going to do to us. He did that to Enoch, and he's going to do it to us, man. You know? And you got to think about it, the grand scheme of things. This is a very short... It was, bro. You know? Uh, Our awakening. Yeah. Some of us, like, it's going to be guys that get saved that just heard the word. Like, you know, oh, a couple days in, you know? <laughs> Last minute, bro. Last Literally. Minute, yeah. Last they, they, they might be like the... um. That, uh, the was parable it, of the penny. Uh, no, that was it. The it's called yeah. the male factor. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, you, you know how you how Shai had the you know the man on the right, the man yeah. on the left, yeah. and you had the, the one that the, at the very end. Mm. All right, he he's fucking you know being crucified with the Lord, <sighs> and the Lord you know was speaking to him, and he believed. Yeah. Right, right there, man, he was literally dying, yeah. and he believed. And, and what did the Yahweh Shai say? You you're gonna come with me. Basically, paradise. yeah, it was say it again in paradise. Yep, in paradise, you know, yeah, that dude could be a lot. He might, his life might, his life might be a last minute brother, man, yeah, you know and saying? so be it, man, yeah. Hey, look, it was because you mentioned the pen. Uh, I think, did you just mention about the, the penny? penny? Yeah. Yeah, you know, penny. hey, look, we're all just trying to get that penny, man, yeah. all right, hey, from Apostle Tahar on down, 
We just want to get that penny so we can get salvation. We can get out of here. No one wants to fucking be here anymore, man, if they're in the right mind. Right. Who wants to fucking be around a mo? Who wants to be around a pedal, bro? Right. All right? Yeah. Who right. wants to be around somebody that's, uh, that's game banging on you? You've right. never seen this dude in your life, and he's fucking uh, checking you, bro, on your fucking block. Right. Fuck that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck being around these Edomites that look down at you. Fuck them, man. They're right. fucking retarded. They're, they're, they're base. Yeah. These people are fucking animals, man. I don't want to fucking be around this shit. Animal, right. but, animal yeah. but got the nerve to be proud when they hear them. Right. Yeah. Dumb, the dumbest animals ever, too, man. Yeah. We're just talking about that, man. Yeah. I was thinking about that one song. is uh, people all over the world. <laughs> Join the love train. Love train. <laughs> hey, man. We, we, hey, we want to see you on the love train, man. Yeah. The love train is going is going to salvation, man. It's going to the island of the innocent. Like in the book of Job, yeah. it says he shall deliver the island of the innocent mm -hmm. and is delivered by the pureness of his hands. Whose hands? He was shot. So he's our righteousness. He's the one who's 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 going to decide who gets on this love train. So, but hey, man, you know we want to see y'all on the love train, man. We want we want to we want to because uh we want to see you on the sea of glass. Okay, yeah. scriptures talk about that sea of glass, man. Well, Lord willing, hopefully we will be looking down at the destruction of uh of Babylon the Great from a chariot, man. I remember uh Elder Demashapot did a lesson about it. He had a dream. That he saw the sea of glass, man. He said, I was on a chariot and the glass and the uh, the floor, you can just see through it, man. It was uh, see through, the floor was just see through. And we just looking down at the earth, man. And motherfuckers was getting cooked, man. So, and that's where the party starts, man. The party, the party starts at the sea of glass. Because if you on that sea of glass, that's how you know the Lord saved your ass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. Yeah. <laughs> Lord willing. Yeah. Lord willing. Lord willing. You look at that shit. Lord willing, no man looking down, looking at that Miami Heat. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was just gonna quote. Uh, you know, Exodus twenty three says, "Thou shalt not follow the multitude to do evil." Right. You know, like the brothers just talked about, man. You know, hey, that's the first thing Jake do when they wake up to the truth. They wanna. They want to tell you about all of the rewards and all of the good things that the Bible speak of, but our people get stuck at the, 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 the emotional part, and they talk about the Samuels and the Kings and the war and the Bible and say, man, that is righteous judgment from the Lord, man. Right. You know, and Scripture says in Proverbs 11, 21, hey, those hands join the hand, hey, um, the wicked shall not go unpunished. The wicked not go unpunished. Oh, wow. I, but the righteous shall be delivered, I think. Ooh, right, yeah, that's why out. Scripture say, blessed is he who not offend the enemy. Come yeah. on, man. Yeah, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Uh, uh, Proverbs eleven twenty one. But I got one real quick. Uh, Hebrews eleven and twenty four. By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. And, and look, man, right. you guys are selling out for some fucking fiat currency, man. Some right. Fake Not, fucking money. It's unjust Did measure. You? Yeah. Look, Moses really had stuff. Okay, he was yeah. second in command. That's right. All right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. The real gold, virgins. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, real fabrics. All right. Real garments. That's right. Real food. Real water. You know what I'm real saying? Kind. He actually had shit. Real and you guys real. sell out to, to, to get uh, just some fucking crumbs, man. Right. Some FRNs. Ain't, ain't been a nigga in America that ever been that rich. Yeah, no. Yeah, get some. They ain't rich now. Scripture said you sold yourself a knot. Yeah, yeah. they, they, they got money. they got unjust measure. Yeah, that's all that is, man. unjust measure, not bagged by anything. Paper ain't worth nothing. Yeah. Hey, it was this um freaking interview real quick. Uh, right. the dude, the wicked ass nigga, Soldier Boy. He was on the interview. <laughs> I just seen it, man. He was saying, they was saying like, yeah, Soldier Boy, we seen that your network was thirty something million or forty something million, some shit like that. He was like, well, you know, they got to go up a little bit. I don't know if they said, whatever the album month the month, whatever the amount was that they said, he said they got to go up a little bit. And it just dawned on me. Nate Network was $150 million on that. Shit. Yeah. Point is, it's all tangible, man. <coughs> From $30 million, $150 million, like the brother just said, hey, this money, it, it's all a fiat, man. Right. Then, look, if Esau wants to pull the plug on you, yep. that's a wrap, bro. Zero. All right, Zero. look what he did to Bill Cosby, yeah. Michael Jackson, Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. All right, they'll start making you look like a crazy guy. Yeah. All right, you know what I'm saying? 
And then they'll start all of a sudden bringing, you know, uh, accusations on you. Like that, uh, what's that dude, uh, uh, that, that, that British dude, uh, um, uh, Russell Brand. Saying? Yeah, Russell Brand, right? You know what I'm saying? Out of nowhere, you know, you know, because, you know, he's been going against the powers that, you know. Oh, yeah, he has on YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Tweet. And so out of nowhere, he just had a, a bunch of, you know, allegations just pop up. Like, yeah, he raped me. He oh, did wow. this, he did and that. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. I came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah. Hey, man, they, they painted this dude as a well-known, uh, quote-unquote, heartthrob, ladies' man type nigga, man. Mm. But he's he's juiced in, though. He's an effigy. Yeah. See, all these guys, what they do is they'll put them up, they'll have them say things that are against the establishment, and then they'll punish them, basically, and they'll make it, uh, put it like this, cancel culture is basically a precursor to execution, huh. okay? Mm -hmm. If they can cancel you, then they can eventually mm -hmm. execute you. What they want to do is get people to accept your execution, mm -hmm. all right? So once they, once they basically, what they call assassinate your character, yeah. then... If they can assassinate your character, they can assassinate you. Yep. So they put these guys like Russell Brand, which is juiced in. He's right with them. All right. Yep. Uh, 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 Kanye, all these motherfuckers, you know, they take under the table deals and they and they they put it like this. They're effigy. He saw it has something to do with witchcraft where he'll burn a picture of somebody and he called it effigy. He'll burn the, the, the effigy of somebody. So really, that's what they're doing. So, and, and what is it all for? It's really all to come against the prophets. Yep. It, that's what is. That's the whole goal, man. The scriptures talk about how um, the dragon let a flood out to uh, to, to wash away uh, the man child before it was born. So he starts out with his uh, media <clears throat> before he brings the sword. You know. Yeah. Uh, shit. Even uh, uh, in that movie, one of the uh, last. Um Mission Impossible, right? Yeah. The the the, the terrorist group with Carl the Apostles. Yeah. You know they're already yeah. like putting in these people's hmm. minds. Yeah. That we're we're the bad guys, man. And they never even show who they were. Yep. Showing you that they just want that word out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. these motherfuckers think they slick, man. But see, that's a great thing, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. Because we were talking earlier about how these niggas, they, how Esau is a serpent, okay? And you niggas, you know, because when you go into the history. You know, when we were in the wilderness, we were we got attacked by serpents, man. And what did we have to do, man? We had to uh, uh, yeah. Moses ordered us to uh, mm -hmm. to put up the pick the, uh, the 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 serpent on that yeah, bowl. The brazen serpent. Yeah, the brazen serpent, man. So those that looked upon that serpent, they was healed, man. Which so, ever, uh, for brothers who don't know, yeah. that represents you. I will shine, man. Right. All right, and that's uh, that's what we got to do. Hey, 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 five, hey, we brought it out in class that Revelation fourteen, man. Look, if you're part of the elect, you're going to do it, and you have to do it, though. You have to follow the land wheresoever he goeth. Because yeah. if you don't, then you're going to fall and die. Hey, you're going to go into either the water or the fire. Yeah. That's it. You have to follow the land. The land is going to lead us out of this bullshit. Yeah. The land is going to lead us to salvation. You know? Mm -hmm. hey, they call it, they call it, so like the, oh, wait, wait. Um, they call you how it shines a branch as well. So mm -hmm. we're not attached to that branch. Yeah. Right. We're like, wither away. Yep. Yeah. Had some uh, Revelation twelve and seventeen, and the dragon was walked yeah. with the woman. The dragon represents Esau, Edom, and the woman represents the uh, nation of Israel. The start is talking about the elect <coughs> uh, specifically. It says, and the dragon was walked with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, the elect, mm -hmm. which keep the commandments of the Most High and had a testimony that Yahweh shot them. Yeah. And it, uh, that's his, there's yeah. another one that talks about how he tried to devour the man child as soon as he was uh, born. You know, so he's trying to stop this birth, the birth of this nation from happening, man. You know, and he's going to send out that flood. You don't understand, you know, just like Bess was saying earlier, man, you're moving to the tomb of prophecy, man. And there's nothing and no one down here that doesn't obey his will, man. Everything you're doing is, is, is the will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. When he, and when you when he give you the green light to run up on us and try to just, just say fuck it, just go for the sword, well, guess what? The Lord gonna lift up that standard against your ass. Man. Mm -hmm. He said, "Scripture says, uh, woe to the rushing of nations that make a rushing like many waters." It says, "The nations shall rush, but Yahweh Bashemiah shall shall rebuke them." And and and, uh, and and what it says, it said, "Beat them like the chaff or something." Um. It says I should, I think it goes into that uh but he's gonna fuck you up. I don't know how to 
paraphrase that whole scripture. Oh, I got it right here yeah, for you. You got it for me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the elect is not bound down to this devil no more. They serve in their true power. He saw pissed off by that. Because he knows once the elect returns, it's, it's over so with for yeah. his fucking power. Yeah. His yeah. rule shit, man. Oh, uh, so like he used in the 12th chapter, right? Yeah. Uh, can you go to 12? Uh, yeah, you read that. Uh, I'll, I'll read this first. Sure. This is uh, Revelation 12 and 12. It <coughs> says, it says uh, oh, kind of said, and he. That's Revelation 12 and 12? Yeah, okay, here it goes. <laughs> this uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in the end. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the other sea. For the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knoweth he had for a short time. Yeah, man, he, he's going to come with that great wrath, man. Like you, uh, like you read, he's mad at the elect, man. And he got, he got, uh, he, he's super pissed off because he know he got a short time. So he's going to pull out all the stops, man. <laughs> he ain't going to take down as many niggas with him. Hey, you know what I'm saying? He that bitch ass nigga that run up in the, uh, with, uh, in the wedding, like, Anybody, <laughs> oh, it's a anybody, uh, object to this marriage, <laughs> speak now or forever. He just bust in, fucking looking crazy as hell and shit, tie fucking all ripped and shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's mine. She's like, I don't, even, I don't even know this nigga. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? It's that stalker. Are you sure in the right building? Yeah, Are you sure you're in the right building? <laughs> sir? It's it's the stalker. <laughs> <laughs> sir, are you still you in the right building? <laughs> yeah, man. Yes. Motherfucker, say your address. <laughs> nigga, man, you better get your ass stomped out, nigga. The whole family gonna fuck you up. She lives in apartment three A. So this that nigga that's been stalking me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's 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 the devil for you. The drag, bro. <laughs> that's what the devil does. He dragged down. He he knows he's done, but he dragged down. Just like in um. Toy Story 3, that bear thing going to fire. Oh, try to pull them. Yeah. <laughs> pull them in that fire with them. Man. That was that was that was my dog. Who's yeah. coming with me? Looking at this thing. But can you bring that up? Yeah. Uh, Isaiah 17, chapter 17, verse three, uh, 13. The nations shall rush like the rush of up, many. Uh, woe to the multitude. Yes. Uh, Isaiah 17 and 12. Woe to the multitude of many people. Which make a noise like the noise of the seas. Right, and the scripture says, uh, the wrath of a great multitude has been kindled over you, man. So all these nations are mad. Because, <laughs> hey, it's just like the prom, man. Uh, 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 Ava, all these other bitches thought they was about to be the prom queen. <laughs> and the one, the scripture says, uh, um, he that was uh, nobody expected have worn the crown. <laughs> so, hey, the one that they all made fun of, beat up, all that shit. She get called to the podium, get the crown put on it, and they fucking mad, man. They're like Cinderella. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know? Hey, uh, hey, Israel Israel is the girl with all the gifts, man. That's right. All right. Israel is the, which is the elect lady that I love in the truth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the, these other nations, they, they finna be mad, man. You know, they already are, but go ahead. Um... Um, I, and they, like how you said, they already are. That's why there's so much opposition right now. Yeah. Yep. All right, from uh, Volcam alone to these yep. other Christians, all right, to, to these, you know, small headers, yeah. whoever it is, man, hey, to our own people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they're, they're, they're the ones who are fighting against Jerusalem. Yeah. And they're. Hey, because two thirds, they, they represent a woman too. The scripture says, like, a whore, a whore yeah. envy at the, the righteous woman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got the uh, the five virgins that were wise and the five yeah, that was foolish. foolish man. Yeah, the five foolish, they finna be hurt, man. And yeah. then they're trying to pluck down the house. Well, yeah. the, we're the wise ones who are trying yes. to build the house right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right? And then look, you, you're all going to lose. Hey, what does it say? All of them that basically fought against Jerusalem. Yeah. Yeah. All right? They're, they're going to be, you know, uh, disintegrated, basically. All right? Yeah, yeah, they're going to yeah. be hit with that plague, man. That's yeah. in uh, Zechariah 14. Yeah, they're yeah. going to be Sarah Connors, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 like, yeah. Like, damn, you fucking... These fucking niggas, they, they won't turn back to power. I won't continue my wickedness. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they want to do, man. Man, good. Do you, man? We'll do us. How about that? That's right. Well, as, for me, just, just do you. as for me and my house, <laughs> that's their mindset. Right. We're going to serve the Lord. As for me and my that's house. That's their mindset. They won't continue in their wickedness. But that's guess what? Right. The beautiful thing is the Lord says, no, you're not going to do it, man. Yeah, and you're going right. to die. Yeah, my Lord. Yes, they deserve to die. And I hope, hope they burn. Yeah. <laughs> you 
finish that out. Yeah. Literally. Back in Isaiah 17 and 12, woe to the multitude of many people which make a noise like the noise of the seas, and to the rushing of nations that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters. Right, and the Lord uses many analogies. He says, uh, it talks about how the ocean thought it was going to take over the sand. You know what I mean? He said, but he, uh, he said it was a foolish idea. Well, it says, I, I'm the Lord that's placed the bounds of the sea that it cannot pass. Yep, yep. There's, there's probably about a good five or four more that spiritually show you that that the sea cannot take over the sand. The Lord has given it his place in his time. Mm -hmm. And then that's where it is. Where it says, I looked and there was no more sea. Yeah, you know, because it's all muddy water. It's all dirty and polluted. The Lord's going to dry all that shit up. And then he's going to replenish the earth with clean water. Yeah. You know. It's, yeah. it's two ways to cleanse something. Water and fire. Yeah, fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, how you cleanse water? With fire. Fire. Water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back in Isaiah 17 and 13 now, the nation shall rush yeah. like the rushing of many waters, mm. but the Most High shall rebuke them, yeah. and they shall flee far off, yeah. and shall be chased as the chaff, the chaff of the mountains before the wind, and like a rolling yeah. thing before the whirlwind. Hey, I'm thinking about that nigga in House of Power that hey, yeah, he fell down a cliff and shit. <laughs> His ass kept falling or some shit. He's like, I'm in much pain. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was the one with uh, Homer Simpson fell down the fucking cliff? His ass yeah. kept rolling and shit. Yeah, you talking about Will Ferrell. It was it, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, the Lord's yeah. gonna roll you down, uh, roll you down the mountain, man. <laughs> I'm gonna try to use it. Hey, like mouth. King Amaziah, man. King Amaziah, he used to toss Edomites off a cliff, man. Yeah. Hey, in the book of Job, it says he see the place of the stones, man. You looking down that cliff, man, where the dude said 300, to the cliffs. Yeah. The Lord's going to knock you down that cliff and you finna go splat, man, because you met your end, man. Wickedness is pretty much at an end, man. Yeah, and they, right. man, they pissed off by that. Yeah. Well, so what, man? Yeah. You know, yeah, like, man, Lord, Lord gave you your time, man. Your time is up. Man. Hey, the wicked witch was fucking with the device. What was she crying about? She said, my, my beautiful wickedness. Right, she was crying because she couldn't be wicked no more. And how did and how the Lord how the Lord destroy this bitch, man, in the movie? Well, how did they destroy the bitch? Alice fucking threw water on her ass, man, and melted it, man. You know? Oh, the, her sister was supposedly like just as evil as her. A house fell on her. That's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, 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 and right now the house of David is being dropped on your ass. The Lord, the Lord dropping the whole house on this bitch, man. You know, or she had a little feet. Her feet was like yeah, hanging out. Yeah. 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 She started rolling up, man. You don't start the movie by getting the Lord dropping the house of David on this bitch. And look, after after they both was killed, what happened? The whole earth, the whole city just rejoiced, man. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's that's Isaiah the fourteen chapter, man. That's right. Destroy the earth. Destroy the earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that's it. Oh yeah, so the Lord's gonna rebuke you, man. You're gonna come in like a flood. You already surrounded, you know. This is Rome yeah. all over again. The scripture says when you uh the Lord said when you see Jerusalem could pass with armies, flee to the mountains, man. Right now you got all type of fucking foreign armies surrounding you, man. Mm -hmm. All right, they flooding in on buses and all type of shit. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they getting rid of uh the active duty American soldiers and sending their ass overseas, man. Perfect. So the siege is just, the siege is laid for your ass. But at the end of the day, what the Lord said, man, He says, uh, "He that diggeth the pit is gonna fall in that motherfucker, man." Yep. The snare that you set, you are gonna get trapped in your own damn snare, man. That's for that dumb motherfucker. He's there gonna turn upon your own head. Yeah, we could let the nigga. The nigga all about setting traps and snares, but he didn't set so many. He didn't forgot about one and then got his ass caught. Uh, like like Will Smith. <laughs> yeah. Remind me, he, he set them traps for. Me. Zombies, well, yeah. oh, yeah. he ended up falling his own trap. Yeah, I am listening to this. Stupid. Dumbass nigga, man. <laughs> Damn. The whole trap he set, yeah. set, set up. <laughs> oh, oh, what a tangle web we weave when at first we practice to deceive. Yes. Good. You a spider that fucking just caught your own web. Yeah. Dumbass. Yeah. Where is that? Damn. Yeah. We got some quick uh, Isaiah 59 and 15. A truth failed, and he that departed from evil make it to himself pray. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Mm -hmm. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness, it sustained him. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate, 
and a helmet of salvation upon his head, and he brought on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My Spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord. From henceforth and forever. So yeah, as the, as the brother Ioana was saying, man, they, they, you know these guys are gonna, you know, they're eventually gonna come in with, you know, uh, you know, with their troops, all right, with that flood basically. And the second you guys do that, bro, it's a wrap. The Lord is, is gonna intervene, man. It's gonna be spiritual intervention, right. all right. You know, we're gonna have a Maccabee situation, all right. We're gonna have a Elijah situation, mm -hmm. okay. The angels are going to protect us, man. It, 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 it's, it's done. <clears throat> yeah, you, I'll say this, you know, because according to prophecy, some men might, you know, for lack of words, you know, perish, right, in this flesh. But that, that's, all, that, that's far few and in between, man. All right? And look, at the end of the day, the elect's going to get the victory. Yep. You're not going to get us, man. The Lord has it where we're going to get the big W. You're all losing, man. Bro, you're all losing yeah. this time around. You're not going to win. You know? Lord got him deceived. He got him in trick bag. Yeah. He and got all, they stupid ass in trick bag. And all you that sell out, man, you're going to fall too, man. Yeah. I think we brought uh, brought it out, man, hey, how you uh, made that covenant with death. Yeah. All right? Yeah, shit. You're going to be swimming in that Miami heat, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or that, that, that talks about the fire. refuge of, uh, <laughs> of lies. Hey, all, hey, man, all of you are going to fall, man. All you sell outs. We, we don't care who it is, man. It could be Somebody from up top, or, or you just just you regular niggers, all right, walking in the streets, man. <laughs> all right, you're all gonna fucking die. Yeah, yeah they, they are. They serving. They serving Satan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. I'm yeah. walking in the fucking restaurant, man. Two nigger women and shit, uh, talking like they damn business women, man. Come on, man. Like they hope is all in this place, man. You don't see what's coming, but that's beautiful because you're not supposed to see it. It's always the hit that you don't see that puts you down. Oh yeah, yeah, because when the Lord's blinding them, the scriptures say, uh, hey, somebody, anybody in the other scripture, he ended up that uh, Isaiah 6 9. The Lord just got you blinded because he ain't dealing with you. He wants you to destroy your ass, man. That's right. Okay. Oh, hold on. This is Wisdom of Solomon 19 and 1. As for the ungodly, wrath came upon them without mercy. Unto the end, for he knew before what they would do. So that's why he kept them blinded, because he knew that they would be continually wicked. They have to go. These are born in vain. Mm -hmm. This is all about the elect being saved. Yeah. That's the wicked. That's why the Lord do that. Because well, he, he knew already what you were going to be on, man. Yeah. He, bro, knew, he knew already, man. Like yeah. I said earlier, bro, we're just action figures, man. Yeah. Some of you are part of... The bad, you know, the bad squad, the bad guys, and someone you yeah. were part of the good guys. Simple as that. Yeah, cause uh, Lord, yeah. Lord say he do what he want to do. I mean, I, I get it. I, I get it. You know, you think like them. You think like them. That shit is bogus. If you got, you thinking like how they think, man. Yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, Lord do whatever the hell they want to do. That's He's right. Supreme being. Yeah. I got that. And fuck you guys, man. You don't even like your how about Shimon Shai, man. Yeah. Right yeah. Up, fuck you. It tells you in Proverbs 8, uh, all they that hate me love, love death. death. Yeah. That's right, you know? Hey, they the ones that uh, wanted the Lord to be crucified, man. That's right. Well, and that's why they're going to get judged. Hey, they say let the blood be on hands. So, yeah. so guess what? Lord going to make you eat them words, man. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's uh, Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. Hey, you said what you said. Because Lord already know they thoughts anyway. Uh -huh. You well, know? You know how to, you know, but well, go ahead, bro. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Uh, make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with the, uh, their heart, and convert, and be healed. Yeah, so Lord don't want to heal the majority of you niggas. Right. Uh, 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 you, well, you're not Israelites right now. 
you whatever your daddy gave you, man. That's right. You fucking black, you, you, you jigaboos, all that. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, brother. Islam. Yeah. 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 Lord, <laughs> Lord has an angel blocking Can't our people to so. get this understanding, man, because the Lord not dealing with it. Yeah, it shows you the power of the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it says, yeah, uh, show you power, Lord. Like, this shit, like, damn, this shit easy. Yeah, you, you niggas still deceived by it? That yeah. show you the power of the Lord right there. Yeah, yeah. truth on the milk. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says, uh, plain unto the simple and stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Oh, yeah. 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 Scriptures yeah. Yeah. That's the power of the Lord right there, man. man. Yeah, that was written by man. Another <laughs> wicked show in the song. <laughs> yeah, it went by man, but these other books you follow were written by man. Too. Right. What, what book hasn't been written by a man? Right. right. It's it's like, right. It said, oh, it said I, Lord. Any excuse not to believe and follow the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Lord. So like, then it said, I, yeah, how, how long? Uh, and he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. So the Lord will keep them lost all the way to their destruction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Yahweh have removed men far away, and there be a great forsaken in the midst of the land. Uh, it said, but yet, and it shall be a tenth, and it shall return, and shall be eaten as a tell tree, and as an oak. Whose substance is in them when they cast their leaves, so the holy seed shall be the substance there. Yeah, because man, you know what? Hey, because these these the same niggas coming back and they lot, man. So yeah. Lord ain't dealing with them. He never what? These the same niggas that seen the deliverance uh back going back to Egypt. They seen the deliverance deliverance with their own two eyes still build the damn idol. Yeah. They yeah. said that deliverance. Yeah. They're just going to revolt more and more. Watch my feet. Watch my feet. Watch my feet. Uh, like the Lord said, man, he has many antichrists, man. And yeah. they, they desire those things. They desire to be black. They desire to be African-American and everything else that Esau even allowed them to be in this world. They don't desire the word. That's yeah. why they can't understand. Hey, like this uh, South Side I might remember. This nigga, was, it was years ago, but top was uh, in the camp. You know what I mean? We telling me Israelite, he's like, no, nah, I'm black. They're like, yeah, the nigga on the west side. I'm like, yeah, you are black, man. <laughs> yeah, they fuck on down the street. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. niggas actually was black too. Yo, get your dark skin black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. And that's how it is. The long, uh, like, uh, the long you in this, you don't even go back and forth with them. Man, I am black. Okay. Yep, you're right. You black, bro. You got it. You black. Read somebody. Read. Right. Read. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Like, I'm not going to do this. Lord, I'm black ball. Boys, <laughs> boys, when you do that, now they're going to stick around. Take your ass down the street. You don't believe, right? right. Go. Go, nigga. Go. That's right. They do be saying that, though. I believe that. I heard it. It hurt. Right. Y'all got your last script? Yeah. So <laughs> like, hey, 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 uh, the elder says anything else? Anybody Can anything I just show else? this real quick? Hey, this is them hurt, bro. Oh, yeah. She's mad as hell. Oh, that shit. <laughs> so like, this is folly, bro. This is them, though, bro. Just hurt. Ah, mad as hell. Back. You gotta get the shot yeah, yeah, I got it, Doc. Just mad as fuck. Yeah, ugly as hell, man. Ah. Look at that shit. Faking it, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my so God. That's the best one right there. Yeah. Yeah. No. With, the, with, with the mask, with the mask on. Got that with right. the face uh, mask on. And the ball. The ball. The ball. The ball. The ball. Uh, oh, I didn't make the ball. You take that mask off. Yep. Right there. Yeah, she mad in the back. Behind that mask, she mad. Yeah, she got that damn mask on. Hey, what's up? She got that mask on. Take it off. Look, take all, take all that makeup away. <laughs> Look like a straight gorilla, man. Uh, yeah, like yo, uh, what was that? Uh, I'm going to get you something. Uh, that, that movie, I'm going to get you something. She took off all that oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, prosthetic leg. Yeah. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, bro. that's that's man. That's sit down right there, bro. Oh, we got one more. This is Sirach, eleven and nine. Like in Asarach, Ecclesiastes 11 and 9, it says, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thy heart and in the sight of thy eyes. But no, which is what all these uh, the niggas are doing, man. They're doing it because what? They want to have fun, they want to enjoy life. 
you know, to them, this is the best thing ha happening, right? It says, but no doubt that for all these things, Yahweh will bring thee into judgment. You know, so at the end of the day, look, uh, every day, the Lord is going to pay, uh, pay everybody back for their works, whether they're good mm -hmm. uh, or, or evil, man. So, you, hey, <laughs> like the scripture is basically saying, look, live it up, man. You know, but hey, you're not going to get away with the things that you're doing, man, with the, the wicked vibrations. <laughs> That you're doing, you can't point your finger and say, "Oh, well, Esau made me do this." Well, why you listen? Why didn't you stand up? Why didn't you trust in Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and lean upon him? You know. Well, yes, yeah, and that's what Esau did. He pointed your finger. Hey, with the birthright thing, you the one sold your birthright to say, "What this, what this birthright, what this birthright right. have yeah. anything to benefit for me?" Right. But then you get mad when Jacob get it. <laughs> that shit again. Like, this dude. That's the spirit of Esau, just a real bitch. A real bitch ass nigga. Man. Right, yeah. I thought James big nigga. He's full time, he's a plan, man. Yeah, he's a yeah. plan to be like. <laughs> and fuck this guy, man. Fuck you niggas that won't follow him, man. That's yeah. right. Um, and the worst ones is the ones that fell off this truth, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. smoking smoking stoke. Every, every time you see this nigga, now he got a, a damn cigar. He's like fucking MJ, you know, what he want, you know. One of the <laughs> three people. <laughs> The three, the three oh, yeah, championship. Yeah, yeah. Right. He had that oh, big my. ass, big ass Toby. Toby in his hand. He got that screenshot, bro. He got that screensaver. Yeah. Uh, that nigga uh, is obsessed with smoking cigars, man. Pause. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No. Big He's ass attack the big glasses. ass round in his mouth. Damn. Pause. <laughs> bro. Majorly pause. It's it's round in his mouth. Bro. Round. Oh. 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 Puff. <laughs> And with that, yes, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to yeah. double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone who rule one who taught us truth and salutations to all the Akiyah Christians who are in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. 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 Shalom.